All right, good evening. I'm still hoping to get a couple more people on tonight, but um, even if we don't, that's okay. I wanna go ahead and continue, get this training going. It's a real quick one, um, but it is very, probably one of more, your more important ones um, for the year. This is our just-in-time training uh, over finalizing your sale um, for the troop level. I am gonna ask that you uh, remain on mute unless you have a specific question. You can also use the chat box as well. Um, as we go through this. And I guess it helps if I actually share my screen since I find what I'm trying to share. All right. Um, as always, the trainings will be put up into GS Learn um, at the conclusion. Uh, this should be a fairly short training, so it shouldn't take me much more than an hour to get it up onto each of the spots. Um, so you can always go back if you need to review it or if you know someone who missed it that needs the information. Um, I'm going to be using my daughter's troop today just as a demo so that you guys can kind of see what you'll need to be doing as you guys are wrapping up your sale, whether it's this week or you continue through until the extension of March 28th. Um, the first thing you need to do, make sure that you are going into your transaction pickups. Oh, and lo and behold, my husband hasn't confirmed one. So if you see this, then this means that you have not confirmed a transaction. Um, or multiple transactions if you've uh, got several. Please make sure that the amounts are correct and then hit confirm. If for some reason the amounts are incorrect, before you do anything, please email product at gsdsw.org and let us know what the issue is, especially if you're out of the El Paso cupboard. If you're out of a different cupboard and the numbers are incorrect, reach out to that cupboard person. If you don't know how to get a hold of them, we can assist in connecting you. But if it's out of the El Paso cupboard, just email product. Let me know what is incorrect, especially if you've made any changes to your order at pickup. Um, it is entirely possible that I missed putting some of those in there. That's why I always say double check. When you hit that confirm, that is your digital signature. You are now accepting that transaction um, and have taken financial liability for that. Um, again, all of your transactions are going to be here. Um, along with your uh, amount of packages that have been um, distributed to your troop. The next part of your finalizing your sale is to go under girl orders. And you want to make sure that this difference number here is zero. And this balance number here is zero. Um, when you see a negative number like this, this is just because um, you've had perhaps DOC payments that have been made, but not cookies allocated to take that amount up. Um, and as you can see, we haven't allocated all of our daughter's cookies just yet um, because we do because of the way we do things. Um, but at the end of the sale, this should be a zero. We have had some instances where people are still showing numbers and they don't understand why. Um, so we're gonna go over that just briefly. So these numbers here, um, your core initial all the way over to toffee other, oops, I did not mean to click that, I'm sorry. Um, all of these should total your transactions, okay? How much you should have after you're pending. Um, and then once you add in your OCD, that is what this number is gonna be. So if you have transferred all of the cookies properly, these two numbers will be, will balance and that will be your zero. Um, if you have a number here, but you don't have cookies in hand, then that most likely means that you just missed a transaction somewhere. Uh, most likely I can say it's probably gonna be as a result of cookies that have been purchased online, but not allocated. As a reminder, when you have cookies that are purchased online for delivery, you'll see it look up like this, where it's zeros all the way across but an amount in the paid. This means that you still have to allocate the cookies for that transaction. Um, the money part is the only part that has been transferred. Okay. Let me go back. If you have a parent that has not paid and you have a positive balance here at the end of the season, you will be required to submit a girl delinquent report. It does not matter the reason. If they have come down with COVID, we have already got a few instances of people that are currently dealing with COVID and are not able to continue their sales, which is 
which is understandable. And those will be handled with special circumstances, but you still need to submit that girl delinquent report and stating why they have not turned in their funds. Um, this is so that the uh, liability comes off of the troop and council will then uh, work with that parent to pay off. If it's a COVID case, then we'll be working with them once they are healthy and are able to continue um, moving forward. Okay. Again, if it's negative, then that just means you have not transferred cookies, um, but you've had more money paid, usually as a result of credit card payments through DOC. Are there any questions on the screen before I move on? Um, I have a question. It's yes. about where you, um, when you clicked on um, her report and you said that the, the deal, the delivery, mm -hmm. we have to put those cookies in there? So um, yes, in a way. So it's because this is coming off of your in-hand inventory. Um, so if you have already transferred, so if you have a receipt that shows that you transferred 20 boxes of cookies to um, girl A, and then they sold those 20 boxes on DOC, then, mm -hmm. then it will balance out. Um, in this case, my daughter has sold on DOC, but we haven't done the transfer out of the troop inventory and into the girl inventory. Does that make sense? Okay. Can, is there any way you can click on it and show me real quick? I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm just confused. Well, I didn't realize we had to transfer or had to allocate cookies to like a deliver, like if they were girl delivery. Well, so the girl delivery is assuming that you are taking out of your in-hand inventory. So when you pick up cookies from council um, mm -hmm. and you're transferring those cookies to the girl, that becomes their inventory. That's what's being um, delivered. So it's not going to show here because you've already done that transaction, say for like right here, this girl delivered transaction cookies right here. Um, this is just me allocating the fact that I took out of the troop inventory um, and put it into the, my daughter's inventory. So let me, I want to make sure I'm, I'm understanding this same as Janine. So when they put in um, deliver, right, and they take that payment, they're usually using in hand cookies. Mm -hmm. As long as the troop has already allocated those cookies to the girl in eBuddy, nothing else needs to be done. Correct. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Thank yes. you, Danny. Yes. You're, very welcome. you're very um, welcome. You're very welcome. So since we allocate as soon as they pick up their cookies, we don't have to allocate anything because Correct. they've already delivered. They have already sent their cookies. They already have them. It's all there. That is correct. Okay. Thank you. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to make it confusing and sometimes I don't realize how it comes out until it comes out. And then, yeah, it's so I appreciate you asking. It doesn't hurt. I mean, as long as we get it cleared up. So thank you for asking. Oh, thank you. Question. I appreciate it. We do have a question in the chat log, Andrea. Go for it. Um, Christine Gibson says that her difference shows negative 533, mm -hmm. but I only have picked up 560 boxes total. I, I did something wrong. Not sure where I did it wrong at. So it's possible that that negative is as a result of um, DOC. What was your troop number, sweetheart? And you can unmute if you need to. 91815. Thank you. 91815. Here you go. Okay. So let's see. So it looks like you have a few shipped cookies um, as well. And then you've got a lot of OCD. Okay. So the OCD are the ones that I have put in, but I didn't know if I needed to put those in. So those were like the Toxic to family and friends. Mm, so no, OCD. That's where the numbers are throwing me off at. Yes. Yeah, so OCD is donated cookies. 
Oh no, that's not, that's yes. wrong. O OCD stands for Operation Cookie Drop. That is our name for our donation. So um, that is only for funds that are donated. That is why your numbers are off is because it's, um, those aren't going to be physical packages. Those are, that's just the funds. Um, oh, no. that's why I did wrong. Transfer, they need to go into either your booth or your other for either core or toffee. Um, and to, and remember, because we have that different price point, you do have to make sure that you're putting in the toffees correctly and then everything else goes under core. But it has to go. So the, the, toffee, the toffees are correct, but on other, I have 21. Those are the online orders. Correct. So you and need to have them done the booth yet, not till tomorrow. So where would those other, those 356 cookies go? Um, under core other. Core other, okay. You can put them core other and you can just click on it and delete that number and move it over to what you need to move it over to. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, all right. Um, the other thing is your troop link. If you have activated your troop link um, and you have any sales that are in that troop link, you do need to make sure that you are transferring all of these cookies over to your girls. Um, as you can see, we still have a um, donation one that we haven't transferred. Those are very simple. I recommend going back and watching some of our previous just in time trainings, especially the last two Q and A's that we've done, we actually go into detail on how to do those transfers. Okay. The money um, is the same thing. This is for um, cookies that have been purchased using the troop link. You just need to um, subtract that out and move it over to the girl that is getting the credit for those funds that has already been paid. Um, and again, we have, we go into more detail in some of our other trainings. So I do recommend going back and watching some of those at a later date. The next spot that I do want to talk about is going to be your payment section briefly. You're not going to be entering anything here. However, this is where you will verify that you have um, been credited for all the correct amount of payments. Make sure that you guys are setting your items per page high enough so that you can see everything. You can filter however you need to. In the case of our IRMs, our IRGs, um, you will see the, if you've paid in person to one of our council offices, you'll see the council office and the receipt number um, along with the date and the amount. If you've paid via uh, an ACH withdrawal, you'll see the reference number. The reference number is gonna be um, associated to our withdrawal amount and then that amount along with your date. Everything else is going to be your credit card payments that you are uh, receiving credit for in as a result of DOC. If you've participated in any of our Grubhubs, you will also see those Grubhub payments um, show up as well. If anything is missing, please email product at gsdsw.org so that we can correct it. Um, for our IRMs, I do try to get those payments in within 24 hours. So if you do not see that show up within 24 hours of making that payment, please email product. Uh, let me know where and when you made that payment and your troop number and so that I can go and locate that receipt. Okay. Um, the rewards, oh, before we go to rewards, um, you do need to make sure all transactions are entered into the system. Um, as soon as the program is over, because this is how your girls will be receiving the rewards. This is in, especially important for um, IRMs as well. Even though you are a troop of one, you do still need to allocate those cookies to your individual girl. Otherwise, their rewards are not going to populate correctly. The rewards tab will cover on Monday in the just-in-time training um, for rewards. So please make sure you guys tune into that or watch the recording afterwards. Andrea, we have a question. Yes. Maria has raised her hand. Go ahead, Maria. Hi, um, I have a question. Um, well, the question is, I have this parent that we're having kind of issues collecting some money from her. Mm -hmm. And um, I had talked to Barbara about it. Um, she told me she was going to call me and um, so I could go pick up the money, but she hasn't. 
I just, and she told me that if she doesn't turn in a certain time that to turn in the delinquent um, mm -hmm. form right for her. But she has paid most of it. She's, she's paid, uh, she owes about $200 and she's paid about, I don't know, maybe about $800. Mm -hmm. So my question is, since she's turning part of it and then I, we would just turn in the delinquent form just for those $218. In, right by um, all delinquent report reports are due by April 1st and yes any if she has any amount that is due that she has not paid you'll turn that report in and the report will show you will walk you through exactly what needs to be submitted um, it will include all receipts um, copies of receipts her agree signed agreement form that you should have from all of your parents um, yeah. as well as copies or the copy of the girl report as well showing what's been checked out what's been paid and what her balance is but yes it doesn't matter how much is owed um, and how much they've paid if they owe and they have not paid by the end of the program you do need to submit these reports because we will not be taking late payments and your final ACH will be determined based off of um, if we've received any uh, girl delinquent reports. If you do not, these, hmm? okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead, I'm finished. If you if you do not turn in the report, the troop will still be responsible for those funds owed. Oh, so if she doesn't pay, we have to pay it out of the bank account. If you do not turn in your troop, if you do not turn in the girl delinquent report, yes. Oh, okay, girl okay, we don't. It in. Yeah. Okay. The girl delinquent report she is doesn't what doesn't pay by April first. Okay. But I would say by um, March 29th or March 30th because the reports are due to our um, product email by April first. That's okay. the last day that you can turn them in. So I would have the due date for your money for your troop um, a couple of days before that at the latest. Again, that's going to depend on when your troop finishes. Some of our troops are already wrapping up their sales, so they may have earlier deadlines, and that's going to be at a troop discretion. But yeah, that that girl delinquent. Yeah, I, I told her I told her three weeks ago that because mm -hmm. we're done, we're done selling, mm -hmm. and I told her I was I was going to collect since March six because mm -hmm. we wanted to turn everything by March eight. But yeah. she she was having some family issues and. And I told her we had deadlines, but I, mm -hmm. I guess she doesn't understand. I don't know. But well, anyways, yeah, she, I mean, I told, I, told, I told Alexis, which is my daughter, the leader, I told her, you know what, give her at least until Monday and she'll, she's going to call her on Monday. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. guess and do what she says. That, yeah, but, that turning, um, turning in that delinquent report will take the, the financial burden off of the troop. Um, and then we will uh, reach out to the parent to make them pay and they will not be allowed to receive their recognitions until their balances are paid. Um, oh, that, yeah, that was my next question. Mm -hmm. So, um, so since she already turned in certain money, so how do we go by the recognitions? We don't We're, even like, submit anything for recognitions for her uh, if she doesn't pay it all. We'll talk about the recognitions on Monday. You'll still submit for them. She just will not be allowed to pick them up until her balance is zero. Oh, I see. So then when we when Alexa submits the recognitions for her, she'll put how many cookies we've given her. We'll, we'll go over and, the, we'll go over all oh, of that. No. that is, Maria, that is actually that's part of my Monday call. And that's why I don't want to go into all of that right now because that's mm -hmm. a whole nother um, training. So Monday, we'll go into how those recognitions are calculated and all of that. Um, um, so I don't want to take up too much time on this call because there's, I still have about two more things that I want to show oh, you guys okay. on tonight's call. So Andrew, this is for the meeting on the 18th, right? Yes, the, the meeting on Monday. Andrea, Andrea, I do have a question because um, Monday is March 15th, but on my calendar, the training is for Thursday, March 18th. I'm sorry. Okay. March 18th. Not, I don't know my days of the week right now. <laughs> so if I have it for the 18th then that is the date, whatever dates in GS learn for that training is the correct one. I just have too many things, too many things scheduled that I'm must be getting them crossed at this point. No worries. Okay. No worries. I'll ask that question on the 18th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. How yeah, long does it take for um, updates to change when they, after they do them anybody? Uh, depends on the updates that you're referring to. So if you are um, 
uh, transferring cookies to girls, it's instantaneous. As soon as you hit save, the important part is making sure you hit that save button. Um, if in if you do anything and your line shows green or orange or any color, it's not saved. You need to hit save and then it shows right away. <coughs> now, if there's something that's been done in DOC, those will take a little while to transfer over and that depends on what the transaction is. Um, if it is a direct ship transaction, it may take a couple of days depending on when the transaction um, took effect or uh, was placed and when it is approved and begins to ship. If it is a girl delivered, I believe it shows up once, excuse me, once you've either um, approved it or once you have delivered it. I don't remember which um, uh, part of that process triggers it to jump over to eBuddy. Um, donations tend to show up pretty quickly. It just depends on what, how long it takes and in hand will show up usually within a few hours. Um, it has to go through making sure that payment is captured and confirmed, and then it'll show up in your uh, eBuddy. Does that answer and, the question? Yes, absolutely. And um, Karina has her hand up. Yes, Karina, go ahead. Yes, hi, I'm sorry. I'm kind of new to all this. I'm not a troop leader, but I am a parent of one of the Girl Scouts. Um, I do apologize, but I missed probably the first 20, 30 minutes of the meeting. Um, is there like a recording or something that I can this see is, how to? Mm -hmm, yes, this is being recorded okay. and it will be put up onto your GS Learn this evening. Um, depending on how long this goes, um, it usually takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to get it um, loaded up into each of the uh, trainings. So for you, if you're an IRM parent, you'll see it in your IRM troop, your IRM cookie training as one of the modules. And you'll be able okay. to go back and watch the first part of it. Okay. Um, and if I can just bother with a few other things, just if I can get an email with like uh, the links or stuff to get into the my GS, I've been trying like the whole week and it just like comes up like as a blackout. It's all shaded out. What are what are you using? What kind of um, device are you using? Uh, I'm doing it on my iPhone. Okay, that's why. Um, okay. Right now, GS Learn, um, there is a glitch. You can only access it from a laptop or desktop computer. Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge are also the only two browsers that have been confirmed usable. But it, it's not uh, accessible right now from any mobile device. And that's a glitch being worked on at the GSUSA level. So we have no timeline on when that'll be fixed. Oh, okay. Okay. That's then that, that answers my question. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and move over. So as I said, rewards, we will talk about in our just in time training on the 18th, <laughs> not on Monday. Um, your sales report is going to be the other very, very important part of your tabs. Um, especially for our troops. The IRMs, this is more informational, but for our troops, this is the report that you will need to submit um, when you do your finances at the end of the membership year, which is coming up very quickly. So once all of your transactions have been entered and finalized, please make sure you scroll down to the bottom. Um, you can print it, you can save it as a PDF, whatever uh, version you prefer, but you will need this report. It shows, first of all, all of your data. Um, so what your tiered rates are, your proceeds, if you um, are eligible for early bird, if you think this is incorrect, if it says no and you think you've earned it, please email info at gsdsw.org and troop support will get in touch with you. Um, we do not uh, have any say over who does and does not earn early bird. We only put in what has been given us to us from troop support. For our IRMs, um, this is where you'll see some stuff changing depending on how much your daughter has sold. Um, so if you show a proceed amount here, um, this will be zero by the end of the program. I just have to go in and manually update as your girl sells more um, to account for that true proceed. For, but as far as the rest of the information, it will show your total sales. Um, for troops who do earn proceeds, how much your proceeds are and what you will be uh, owing the council as a grand total. Okay, and then on your payment side, again, it'll show your council payment, your council 
um, balance that you owe. Any payments that have been made, that includes your donation or your DOC uh, credit card payments, any payments made um, in person or ACH payments. All of that will show up here, come off of that council proceeds. And then this amount owed to council will be what your final ACH will be um, in April. April 8th, I believe, is the week that we begin our final ACH. For troops that show a negative value here, that means that because of DOC payments and other factors, uh, you have actually paid council more than what is owed. So you'll be receiving a credit. And again, we will be processing those all the week of April 8th, um, all at one time. Okay, so if it's a negative value, we will be refunding you. If it's a positive value, then that is what you owe. Okay. Um, and that is, I thought there was one more tab I wanted to show you guys. Um, I do recommend checking through some of these reports. Some of them can be useful. Um, uh, mostly it's just informational. A lot of the reports that you need will be able to pull directly from the tabs themselves. All right, are there any other questions on the finalizing your sales steps? We do have some questions. Yes. OCDs do not need to be moved to an, uh, the other tab, correct? Correct. Ever. That was a special circumstance. She accidentally put the wrong, uh, she put her, the cookie sold under the wrong tab. OCD is referring to donated cookies. And if it's a donated cookie, it stays under that OCD tab. In the case of the individual we were talking with earlier, she does need to make the transfer only because they got put under the wrong spot. Okay, perfect. And when is troop proceeds amount adjusted for PGA cookies sold? It's automatically done. Um, so as, your pro, um, as you progress, the system will automatically adjust uh, and you'll see it here on this tiered rate um, for both sides of that. Um, so you'll see um, if you've reached that uh, top tier, you'll see the tiered rate of 15 cents show up. Okay, so it automatically adjusts throughout the program. And please keep in mind, those rates are based off of girls selling um, and the system determines who is selling based on transfers in your girl orders tab. But it will not count the troop once you have the troop cookies allocated out and into somebody else, the troop one will not count towards that. Any other questions? There are no other questions coming through. All right. Um, so again, I please uh, recommend that you guys attend the just-in-time training on the rewards. We'll go into more detail on the rewards and how to submit those final orders. Uh, in the meantime, just make sure all of your transactions are entered, all of your payments are entered. By the end of this program, you should have a zero down here and a zero along here if all is good. And I keep hitting buttons I do not want to hit. I am sorry about that. We do have one more question that just yeah. popped through. Um, so all we will need to submit by the end of the program is a copy of the sales report and that's it? The sales report is for your troop finances at the end of the membership year. Um, you'll you'll be submitting everything you do in eBuddy is kind of an automatic with the exception of the rewards you do still have to go in and we'll talk about that in the next training on how to submit those but that sales report is the one that you need to have pulled out and I also recommend having your rewards thing pulled out but we'll talk about that later but having that sales report will make your life a lot easier when you submit your troop financials in what is it May June time frame but you won't be submitting that report to product or anything that that's you don't submit that to us that goes to um troop support and maria has raised her hand yes maria i'm sorry can you show me again where it should be zeros by the um, end of the program down here at the bottom where it says difference and then uh -huh. over here on the side where it says balance due these should all be zeros by the end of the program so all the way in the bottom to, and then the middle, and then all the way to the right. All, yeah, all of the girls should be zero, which will lead to a zero down here. And then under your totals, all the way at the bottom, that difference should be zero. 
If you have cookies left over that the troop will end up paying for, you do need to allocate those to your girls. Um, you should have nothing left in your um, on-hand inventory by the end of the program. Um, one more question. Um, I know I, I, I sent right now a message, but I got kind of confused. So on the donated cookies, if they're paid online, we don't have to do nothing about it? Correct. But okay. if but if somebody paid us, then we have to allocate those on the other. If somebody gives you money um, for to donate um, and say, you know, here's for a box or two boxes of cookies, when you put in your mm -hmm. transaction, you'll put it in under OCD along with that payment. OCD. But mm -hmm. it paid online, nothing. We don't do nothing. Correct. Because it automatically, you'll see here where it says donate um, to, it automatically donates it. It automatically puts it in the correct spot. And and all the money that they paid a line, we don't have to mess with any of that. It goes automatically. Correct. It, it automatically, because the amount, the money that's paid through DOC comes directly to council, which is why when you look at your sales report, you'll see all of these transactions. They count up towards amount that has already been paid to us. Um, mm -hmm. So you guys don't have to worry about that. This, what is left should be coming out of money that has been received via cash. So Alexis, when she separates her orders for every girl and some of those were delivery, she just enters all her amounts and that's it, right? Correct. And it should like come out even. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did we have any other questions? Nothing else in the chat log right now. All right, so it is a little after seven, so I'm going to go ahead and let everybody go. I'm going to get this recording um, loaded onto my computer so I can get it up into GS Learn um, within the next hour. Uh, otherwise, if you guys have any questions throughout the week, please make sure you're emailing product at gsdsw.org and Danny will um, reach out and help you out the best she can. If she can't answer your questions, she knows where to go. <laughs> sure do. I, tell, I tell everybody, if I don't know the answer, I know somebody that does. Yes, yeah, so make sure you're emailing product and we will help you out um, from there. Otherwise, we hope to see you guys on our next just in time, our final just in time training for the season um, on Thursday for rewards. You guys have a great night and good luck with the rest of your sale. Thank you. Thank you, Rosia. Have a good evening. Thank you. Have a good night, night ladies. Night. Thank you, Janine. Have right. a good evening. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Marsala.